What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. It is our last day in Vegas. We're on our way right now to meet up with the boys, get some breakfast. Um, I'm not really sure what the day is going to have in store for us. I know we are mandatory, have to be over at the Anza booth by 4 p.m. to get the Tahoe out of there, which I can only imagine is going to be an absolute nightmare of everybody trying to get out of the building at the same time with vehicles, uh, booths, all that stuff. I'm going to try not to fall, stepping off the little people mover thingy. Good morning, boys. Good morning. How are we feeling? Oh, I'm feeling wonderful. Feeling good? Is it, is it real? It's real. It's real? Hey Wes, is it real? That's real. Look, 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 I got, we gotta see it, bro. Damn. You're taking care of it, it looks effective, man. More importantly, how are you feeling after those nine White Castles? Terrible. White Castle, nobody know no more. No good. It was never good. So, we've made our way back to the convention center. Uh, of course, now we're back parked in the ghetto. One thing I gotta say about these uh, events, conventions, whatever, like why there is not even like one one hundredth of enough parking at these places, I do not understand. You've got plenty of space to build a parking garage, no parking garage, and then on the last day of SEMA, they take the entire parking lot and turn it into the SEMA cruise. So, you know, we're stuck parking over there. You got a place, you got 200,000 people that come here every year. And we've got like a thousand parking spots. If you guys remember Nate's truck from Flog that we showed earlier in the channel, he's got the new Nitto 42s. I've been waiting for Toyo to come out with a 42 forever. And uh, we just found a 4226. It's a 4216, 15526. Hopefully they come out with one uh, in the 22. Let's go find out. We're gonna do a 42 for a 22. Uh, it's in the works. In the works. 26 is what we gotta request the most first. Yeah. Um, you know, the 42 inch bolts are just, they're expensive. Right. And, uh, but no, it's a. Uh, we got more call for the 26s for the big show trucks. It's such, such a limited market. We're just going to buy this thing. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll sell everyone we build. So unfortunately, in talking with Toyo, it doesn't look like they're going to be making a 4622 or a 4222 anytime soon. But they did take us in the back and they gave us a little sneak peek of the new AT3. And uh, what do you think, Wes? Are you excited about the AT3? Oh, super excited. Um, <laughs> there were literally like no cameras, no pictures, no nothing. I didn't, I didn't think we were going to go get a sneak peek like that. But So really all that we have planned on today's agenda, other than having to have the Tahoe out of the booth by 4 p.m., is uh, we actually had a wife of a fan reach out to us. He's uh, going through some chemotherapy right now, and, and she said our videos just happen to be the one thing that's like helping him get by. They're here at SEMA and we're gonna go surprise him right now. So we're gonna try to sneak around the back side of the Anzo booth right now. Yeah, he is a little, I'll see him. Make sure we get the right guy. We don't, want, we don't want to surprise somebody yet and they get all weirded out by us. He's wearing blue jeans and a gray shirt. They have the right booth. All right, we found him. That was a car there. Hi, boot. Look at me, like, I knocked the shit off. What's up, dude? Fan of the channel, bro. Yeah. How's it going, man? What's up, buddy? <laughs> What's up, dude? Nice to meet you, man. Appreciate you watching the channel. What's up, man? How are you, brother? Nice to meet you. Hey, Welcome, dude. Awesome. We got Ryan right here. <laughs> got Chris. Awesome. How's it going, dude? Ryan, nice to meet you, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. You want a picture? Yeah, we'll get a picture with you. Of course, yeah. Hey, get in the middle. We'll get all of us together. Thank you. Ready? Don't cry, bro. Don't cry. We don't need to get all emotional, man. Oh, Ryan, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love how, like, you guys are, like, strong together as friends. Well, that's what it's about. I love it. It's all about your circle, man. It's all about your circle. Nice. I appreciate you watching, man. That's how he watches. I watched it last night. Yeah, she was asleep. <laughs> I had the volume full up. I, I listen to him, he's up. laughing, and I'm like, what is I going on? Because I was laughing at your uh, proposal to the That's right. Reach out to me again. Because we, yeah. were, we were sad we didn't bring you. I wanted to bring you some no. stuff, but we don't ever bring a bunch of workforce stuff. So um, I'll get your address, and, and we'll send you a bunch of stuff. Man. I want to get you decked out some workforce gear. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Wes, where are you going? Yo, you let Wes drive, dude? Yes. That is a bad... Oh. No. <laughs> I hope that's a rental. Did you get full coverage? Hey. No, I didn't. No, <laughs> oh, I dude, didn't. you're done. No, I didn't. That thing must have a 6.2 in it. That's all I got. Oh, you handed me the keys. I gave it back. He's done, yeah. yeah, yeah that's too much for him. That's too much for him. So, unfortunately, guys, we're over here at the Anzo booth, and uh, I don't know if you can see right there, but it looks like Wheezy's truck was a victim of somebody that not only stepped once, but it looks like they stepped twice on his wheel. 
I don't really understand. Like, what what is up there that people are trying to look at? Yeah, Chris, can you go check what's up there? People, please stop stepping on wheels. We saw a girl. There was 30-inch wheels are like a big thing around here. We saw a girl literally climb into a 30-inch wheel, like pretzel herself in there. Like, that's not okay. Don't touch people's wheels. Like, bad idea. So not only do you see innovative vehicle stuff at SEMA, you also see uh, innovative bathrooms. I've never seen a bathroom that tells you how many available stalls there are or where the nearest ones are next door. And then on the uh, other side of the wall here, if you need any services, just push the button. We'll give you guys a real behind the scenes sneak peek. Some real behind the scenes stuff in here. Shh, real behind the scenes. Hey bud. Yeah. I know you don't have one of these on there. Oh, oh awesome. Thank you. Yes. We got two more to go. Awesome. Yes, we're almost there. How did you do it? You're gonna hit Since nine o'clock, he had sixty-five to get by the end of the day. Wow. So it's two more to go. You know, physically going up and talking to them. So tired. Yeah. Who awesome, gets the bro. most? Yes. You're yeah. gonna win. You got yeah. this. You got this. I really want oh, yeah. Thanks, you guys. Logan. Yeah, man. You want me on the floor? Yeah. What's up, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Here at 2019 SEMA, collecting a ton of lanyards. Awesome. This is only from today. I've got them on the back and this. Impressive, so, bud. Have fun. And stay safe. Good luck, buddy. Back. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. Well, we're over here uh, checking out the bear. These wheels are absolutely insane. I mean, I don't even know if it's going to come up on camera, just how uh, nice they are. We're missing a little uh, valve stem cap there, but check out the... Uh, check out that drive shaft hitting the, the crossman right now. Uh-oh. Wes is uh, investigating a little bit. I do like how most people are just doing bolt-on face plates. They did bolt-on face plates, but wrapped them to kind of keep the bear theme with the big bear trap right there. This thing's absolutely massive. I don't really know why they had to put it up on these little baby ramps that they built, but yeah, this is really cool. I do like when you see different exhaust setups. This exhaust setup is actually pretty cool. They custom made this end cap right here, and you can see uh, it all ties into one. It just kind of spreads it out. Today's been kind of another short day. We've made our way back over to the Anzo booth, which is uh, where all the, the prep is going for now. They've got to start tearing down booths. We need to, uh, hopefully they tear down enough booths that we can pull all the vehicles out with no issues. Weezy's gonna be uh, having a fun time squeezing his truck out here. They got that in before too many of the booths were set up. And then obviously being that uh, the Anzo lights that are on the Tahoe right now are more demos, they're swapping them back. And the man himself. I don't know what to say. Oh, that's it? No, yeah, I saw Lacey. I tried to take a picture with her, but uh, yeah, she was too cool. Well, she, she's uh, a married woman, dude. Oh. Well, engaged. Wes. She's engaged. Sorry, bro. Yeah, don't I be mean, stepping on Wes's toes. I'm, I mean, I'm married too, so I understand. Don't you love these new vehicles? Yeah. Shoot, even to change headlight bulbs on these things is a pain in the butt. Yeah. Car up. So they literally just announced that the show's over in like the split second. Oh, well. Oh, they're still running. Everybody just started firing up engines. Everybody's trying to get out of here quick. We wasted no time. Like, literally the second the announcement happens, everybody just chaos. Everything's getting torn down. Race gas. Right? Uh oh, uh -oh they're getting mad. They're yelling over the loudspeaker. They're mad that everybody's starting their engines. So while we wait for them to swap the lights, we're just going to go walk around, check out all the crazy stuff that you didn't get to see fire up during the week. You know, we think we have a battle trying to get the Tahoe out of here, but some of those little rat routes and stuff like that that are custom built that have a very, very, very wide turning radius, uh, it's got to be miserable to get out here. And some of these cars are just hard to drive. They don't like to idle. They don't like to just put around. <laughs> nice tight squeeze, boys. Nice tight squeeze. Guide Wheezy through here since nobody wants to guide anybody. Thread and needle, buddy. Cluster. <laughs> Always. So even though we got out of the booth, now we're uh, waiting in the super long line of everybody in these, you know, obnoxious vehicles to make tight little turns. It doesn't really work that well coming through the convention center. I have a feeling we're going to be sitting in this line for uh, way longer than any of us want to. So while we're waiting in line, we got the engine turned off. Look who we found. Again. We got to see the hand. Work for it. We got to see the hand. 
Oh. Hey, hang on, I can dab on them in style. Oh, now the dab makes sense. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Of course it does. Looking good, dude. Looking good. It's a little crusty. I haven't put anything on it. So we switched lanes. We were in the lane directly behind me over here. This was not moving. That's like two 90 degree angles. That's the way we came in. A lot of these vehicles are going to have to make like a 42 point turn there. We switched box. Wheezy's in front of us now. We're still trying to make our way out. We really haven't moved much further than we were. Wheezy's now making a four point turn in here to, I guess they're shoving him down this aisle instead of shooting him that way. Yeah, I don't know if this is the right move, Wheezy. Well, it's good news when we start to see a car move a little bit. The scratches in your wheel were there already, Wheezy, right? You're good? Yeah, the foot hair. Yeah, you're good, you're good. So we've been in here for uh, well over an hour. We're walking to the door, literally. Tahoe's right there, door's right there, nobody's moving. This is uh, what we're looking at. Oh, geez, it looks crazy out there. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're moving anywhere here. So people are running out of gas. Technically, you're only supposed to have a quarter tank of fuel to be inside the convention center. I don't know if anybody's doing that because nobody checked, but a lot of these guys are running out of gas. And the other problem is you've got uh, people clearing out their booths, so they're trying to move stuff in between vehicles. Wheezy's truck almost got hit. Oh, this thing's pretty sick. Look at how many people you get in that thing. Sick dope. Finally, we see some vehicles moving way down here, but it's just crazy cluster. I mean, you've got drag cars. This guy's on a motorcycle. I don't know why he just doesn't go around everybody. Hey. <laughs> you got they got to push the car up there. And we've got people coming in from that building that are trying to merge with the line. And literally, it's all going down to one single line, a little area over there. So all it takes is uh, one moron to really screw this whole setup up as uh, the guy in the Jeep behind me has not moved. About 50 cars have come out of this lane and he has not nosed his way in at all. We're all trying to make our way through. Literally, he's just happy, smiling away in the Jeep, not moving. I know one thing, if we were in California right now, there would be a big old stamp warning on this place on the cancer that it is causing with all the vehicles running indoors. So I don't think it helps when uh, half the cars have to get pushed out. Kind of really uh, slows things down a little bit. So we're going on about two hours right now. We are. Almost halfway through the exit door. I'm the best friend. Kind of like, like, we have my clients, my clients. Right, yeah. Oh, like, shit. Yeah, do stuff. Right. Oh, oh, good. I just got <laughs> So, the good news is we made it outside. The bad news is the door's right there. We've been here for about 40 minutes. This is as far as we've gotten. The problem is. They've literally got 14 doors converging on one little spot and it's just, they're trying to choke us all into a single file line. It just doesn't work that way. When we loaded in, all of this was empty. There's plenty of room in here to kind of get vehicles out. And now they've just flooded it with crates and forklifts and all that stuff. So it's just, it's very, very poor planning. And I've said it in the past, like this ain't the first SEMA. Why they don't have this stuff figured out, I don't understand. I get that it's a trade show and the vehicles inside are kind of trade show vehicles. But if you're gonna do your SEMA cruise where you're trying to funnel us all into the cruise, we don't even wanna go through the cruise because they've already closed SEMA Ignited and we're not even anywhere near it, which they did the same thing to us last year, right as we were about to be in SEMA Ignited, which is the after party that they throw, they closed it down right in front of us and said there's no more parking, you guys gotta keep going. So we have dinner reservations we're trying to get to, so there should be like a side exit to not force us to go through the parade, but we're uh, making do with what we got. Hey, hey, that's that's right there. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> 3,000 new products. Yeah. Do a live interview with Chris. So apparently, uh, they're just forcing everybody to go through the parade, so we're kind of stuck in the parade right now. So that first area we were just in is where they do the little announcing. Uh, I don't know if we want a Ford, guys. We've got one uh, broken down right here. So it's kind of become the uh, wild wild west out here on the streets of Vegas. There's razors, there's uh, can-ams, there's trucks, motorcycles, everybody's riding in the backs of trucks, on top of trucks. It's just crazy out here right now. And I'm pretty sure we're not being allowed into the actual parade. I could be wrong, but uh, I don't know. Doesn't look like it. So traffic's moving so slow that we can kind of stand out on the street here waiting for everything to move. Literally the uh, Randall Tahoe's right down that street. That's all we're trying to get to. We don't even want to go in the parade. Oh, Well, that's about as much as we're going to see of uh, SEMA Ignited, so I guess we'll say hi and uh, say bye to that. So 
So this may not make sense in the timeline, but I want to give our special guest here the chance to do it. He says he's been preparing for this, so with that, we're going to wrap up this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you're not missing out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workboardapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, now all we got to do is point at Chris's arm. <laughs> you guys are the best. We're out. Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah.